wow, so a uh, machine girl is a producer named Matthew Stevenson. This is his fourth studio album, and apparently he just signed to a new label and released this bad boy. Um, I had no idea who he was going into this, so I can't really say anything about his back catalog. However, I'm just here trying to make sure this doesn't fall through the cracks of the year because it's definitely worth your time to give a shot. It's primarily a digital hardcore album, but feels like a melting pot of different electronic genres from the likes of Electro Industrial and Gabber and Breakbeat Hardcore, Drum and Bass, Glitch Pop. It feels like the brutality of a hardcore punk album mixed with equal parts The Prodigy and Sweet Trip. It feels like being in a club or rave in this days of suicidal thoughts and outwardly thoughtless action or experiencing all of the highs of being in a mosh pit. Either way, it definitely has a lot of pent-up rage towards the world and how our everyday lives function. Its lyrics remind me a lot of Death Grips and that it feels like a collection of every raw, disgusting thought that the human mind could have. It feels like these are all things that the guy just needs to get out in a stream of consciousness fashion. And also, for better or for worse, this album definitely comes across to me like it has the same aesthetic that an edgy scene kid from like 2009 might. And you will not catch everything that this album throws at you. It has an exhaustive amount of detail. And honestly, this whole review, I could just throw time markers at you because great decisions can be found within each and every track. And even though it works in the same root ideas throughout, it changes things like the drum timbres, the synth tones, the samples to make it feel fresh and ever-changing for the most part. Even when there is a come down moment where you're left with a sweet angelic synth melody, in its context it still feels completely disconcerting. I also really like when this record uses all of its instrumentation together to reinforce the intensity of whatever note it's hitting, making it feel all the more merciless, like on the hook of Roach on Dope. The bass on this thing is also warped to insanity, the vocals are very dry and cutthroat. Necroculture Vulture is also an easy highlight on here for me. The buzzing synth bass and distortion kind of jumps around while the ramming drums and destructive screens slice through it. Also the vocal sample that repeats, it's just the beginning, sounds like a fucking demon child or some shit. And lyrically, it's probably the most socially conscious track on here, the way it describes the government killing people in such a brutal way genuinely leaves a really strong impression. And it's one of the many tracks on here that switch up to a completely new beat at the very end as if it could go on forever, but then it just doesn't. It's something that Kill Screen does. I love the drum pattern on this thing as well, and the candy-coated yet maniac synths on this thing work alongside them very effectively, and the speed of them at the end of this track feels like being whipped up into a fucking tornado or something. And dude, the hook on status is probably the strongest on the whole album. I love the way the beat gets kind of muffled when the first one comes in, and then an arpeggio creeps up to these synths that kind of bubble and screech, and the glitching noise at the end of their loop is just like the greatest addition to it, and the face tattoo line. I like it. And I love full metal dipshit. The drums hammer down on this thing. The flowing bass feels very mechanical and cold. There are some synth knots towards the end of the track that have a bit more drilling energy than the rest of it. And I love that looped sample that comes in in the chorus. It's euphoric as hell. And I love the way it becomes eerily tranquil towards the end. It's very fitting that the center chunk of the next track feels like a breath of fresh air with its cleansing ambiance. However, something you should know about this album is that it is a bloated mess, despite the fact that there are no glaringly awful tracks, nothing I feel like should immediately be taken out. And how much that takes away from it is just gonna vary person to person, but still, I love how transitional moments like Where Were You and First Five Years of Light are notable changes for the album, and I feel like it would improve the pacing if there were more of these that were a bit more fleshed out. Also, the songwriting does have a few cringe moments, which I guess is to be expected by how unhinged it is, but I do feel like the topics get kind of worn down by the end, and if this is really what he's going for, he could put a bit more thought into separating the different elements of the side of him or the thing he feels. But still, this is a fucking monster of an album. I feel like it's an experience you should definitely have if you're into these types of genres or these messy splurges of emotion. So I'm feeling like an 8 on this thing. Really like it. Check it out. Thanks so much for watching my review. If you want to subscribe, that would be great. And I'll see you soon.